Right, we're on our way to the farm um, for the weekend. Um, first of all, we have to uh, make our way to the lockup to pick our caravan up because we haven't got the room where we live to actually store it. So once we've got the um, caravan out to lock up, then we can continue our journey onto the farm. Um, there was quite a few road work still, um, but this has been going on for quite some time and um, we understand it is actually going to work out now for about 30 odd weeks. So hopefully it won't be too long and um, it'll be a straightforward journey hopefully in the future. Now if we're only going for um, a weekend, sometimes we go further field, but we do like the farm. It is um, not too far away from the lockup and it's just a nice distance just to get that little bit of distance away and just be able to relax. So um, we're just coming up to the turn in for Bullwick, um, which is New Lodge Farm at Corby. Um, the proprietors are lovely. As I said before, it is actually owned uh, by um, a farmer and his wife, but they have a manager and mandress that actually um, do use um, and run the camping caravan motorhome part of the farm. As we're approaching, um, we, you do have to key in a code, but when you first actually turn up at the farm, um, there's a buzzer that you can buzz in just to let them know that you have arrived and then they can log you in and then you go on to reception. Um, the proprietors, the manager and know us quite well now because we've been going actually for quite a couple of years now and um, we were actually on their Facebook page last year as frequent visitors. So just um, put in the call through and then um, the gate will rise up. What you do when you're first through, you park up um, before you go and choose your pitch and they just sign you in. While hubby's in there, I'm doing the paperwork. Um, this is the reception area, the shower and toilet block, and also the laundry, and it's all in the farm buildings. Um, it's just a lovely atmosphere. Um, as I've said before, just look back on um, some of my videos from last year where I go into quite depth about the farm. I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear me because he's got the lawnmower going. Um, Hubby said I did go a little bit overboard um, with food this weekend. Um, I've got plenty of snacks here and in here. And I've got the cool bag here and the cool bag here that's got the freezer stuff in. So yeah, I've got like four bags of food. Um, but as I say, um, I didn't want to run out of snacks and although they're probably not all healthy at least they're not all sweet snacks they are actually crisps and everything and I've packed my papers because I'm going to set to have it onto some paper folding um, sometime over the weekend um, especially if I can't figure it out so I'm going to unload I did bring some more Pepsi Max with us said in here we've got the PlayStation 4 I've also got my laptop back there as well and the clothes and even my mobile craft bag and then we've got the um, tech bag there with my medication in it's just the usual um, drill so now we're going to um, start putting everything back into the caravan um, I might do some cleaning in the bedroom area this weekend. Um, I have gave a full tour of our caravan previously. So here it is. Yeah, as you know, that is the TV there. That's why it's got the oven gloves across it, so everybody remembers. Um, so I'm just going to probably dust it at some point over this weekend. And um, I may um, show you um, how I organise it again. 
I did actually cover all this um, last year and what I will say is um, doing showing these organisation things especially for small spaces it doesn't necessarily have to be for a motor home or a caravan it could also be used in the home as well and as I keep saying yes this is our happy place so hub is just having a shower so i think i've actually shared this before this is a, a dvd case that we keep actually in the caravan it has um a large variety of dvds usually i keep ones in the folder that we tend to watch over and over again and when there's a group of us um come away they know where to find um a dvd to borrow um this is everything to do with um the GoPro um, we did do some filming um, on the way to the farm um, the wind has picked up it is um, evening time we did make the second bed up this is the bed our son usually has this is the two sofas that makes into another double bed but this afternoon and this evening it was nice just to stretch out and um, watch TV because we have got a, a bigger TV here and we've just watched Red and we're going to watch Red 2 this evening um, as I said Herbie put some lights under the palmet and we did have some snacks and drinks earlier on um, we don't drink normally we don't drink alcohol anyway but we have plenty of soft drinks um, this is the fridge so it's pretty well stocked and I'm going to get tea on in a minute um, so the wind has really picked up and um, just next door a couple We're just there we have actually got a fifth wheel um, there's quite a few people here actually um, there's supposed to be a car rally here on Sunday um, especially after the heat wave mini heat wave we had last weekend it's a shame really because i'm not sure that it's going to be um very decent weather we have been threatened with rain thunderstorms um it hasn't hit us yet although the wind is really picking up so there's the rest of the farm um as i said this part is um no children on this site which doesn't bother us too much but now we have got our granddaughter, it, it's a shame really in respect because this is quite close to the lockup. But um, as I said, we do like quilts in the caravan rather than sleeping bags. And you know, can you hear the wind? Can, um, I do like all my cushions. But in the evenings, um, it's just nice to make this up. Although the seats are leather, <laughs> I don't find them really that comfortable to stretch out i can fall asleep on them but it's nice to be um cozy we have got the heating on low as well the, we've got the electric fire on which is down here and um tomorrow i hope to do i say some cleaning in the bedroom area um it doesn't take long to um clean the caravan and i do bits and pieces um every time we come away um and if anybody's interested, I, I can also do some more organising and show you how I organise our, our cupboards. We've only got, just here is the only wardrobe we've got. And down the bottom, um, we do keep um, extra canned goods and um, food goods at the bottom. It's a stunning joke with the family that we turn around. If you can't find anything, just look in the wardrobe, especially at the bottom. Um, because above, these cupboards are not that deep so I have to be um, quite event, um, venturous is that the word eventful um, to sort out um, how to organize my cupboards um, we don't tend to use these two that much in fact the two above the wind just there it's usually charges and cables um, for the phone so it's just that um, they're the narrowest ones, so you can't really get much in them because of the sloping of the ceiling. But I do like to use um, 
different methods of storage and different ways of storing items, especially in, you know, such a small space. So, um, not sure if I'll be doing any more videoing today. I know it's been a short video. It's just that I've had so much to do um, today. And as I say, we are having a chill out time um, this evening and we're going to have a movie night and we've got some... So once we're out here, we've got some more snacks to have um, and a variety of my Pepsi Max as well, which is my treat. Um, so I'm going to land it. I'm going to finish it there. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.